With the Ultradocs Email Designer, you can create beautiful email campaigns using Google Docs. Launch the Ultradocs Email Designer from the Add-ons menu by clicking on Open Sidebar. The Ultradocs Email Designer comes with a number of great themes. All themes will play nicely both on desktop and mobile. Clicking on the Preview button will open the theme in a new browser tab. With Ultradocs, it's quite easy to embed contact photos, various charts, and even Google Maps into your emails. On the right-hand side, you can preview how your email will look like on mobile devices. Let's pick the blue theme as a starting point. Before applying the theme, you will have to enter the required data for the footer. Enter your company name and address, the reason why the user is getting the email and the text that will be used for the unsubscribe link. After applying the theme, you will find a nice starting point in your Google Docs editor. Feel free to use all formatting capabilities of Google Docs for designing your email. In the sidebar you will now find a number of matching modules for the selected theme. Click on Insert to add a module to the email. The module can be added above or below the cursor position. This way you can quickly assemble a nice looking email from the provided modules. Now it's time to configure the campaign for sending out the emails. Clicking on connect will launch Ultradocs in a new browser tab. A wizard will guide you through the steps to configure your campaign. You will find a red Ultradocs file with the entered name on Google Drive that allows you to access your configuration at any time. You can send out emails to selected Google contacts or to contacts stored in a spreadsheet. As I have prepared a demo group in my Gmail contacts, I will pick the first use case. As emails can be personalized, we will have to select a test contact so that we can preview the email including the dynamic fields. The body of the email will be generated from our template. In the next step, we can configure the subject and the sender to be used when sending out the emails. Ultradoc supports both Gmail and Amazon for sending emails. Gmail is great for getting started, but Amazon is the real thing if you want to track your emails and send out thousands of emails per day. I've picked a sender account using Amazon to show you how you can track deliveries, bounces and complaints. You can track your emails with both Google Analytics and Google Sheets. Clicking on Create will create an empty sheet on Google Drive to track your emails. The basic configuration including email tracking is complete. The wizard has created the basic flow in the background. When sending out the emails, all of the configured building blocks will be executed from top to bottom for each of the selected contacts. We can drag and drop additional building blocks from the sidebar. Let me as an example remove the contact from a contact group in Gmail whenever the user clicks on unsubscribe or the email bounces. Let's now switch back to Google Docs to improve our email. As we can see, the template is now connected with Ultradocs. In the Variables tab, you will find all the placeholders that you can use to personalize the email. Let's insert the given name of the recipient as a simple example. Ultradox provides various formatting options, but in this case we will just simply print out the value as it is. Let's have a quick look at the generated footer of the email. The now variable and the date formatter are used to print out the current year. The tiny mobile icon below the footer indicates that this email will be optimized for mobile devices. Never remove this icon unless you want to send out a desktop-only version of your email. Clicking on the Preview button in the main toolbar will merge and open the email in a new tab. As you can see in the Mobile Preview, Ultradocs will optimize all the elements for mobile devices. 
Finally, it's time to send out the mailing. Click on the Run icon in the main toolbar and select the recipients. I will just select all contacts from my demo group. Click on Run Batch to execute the flow for each of the selected contacts. Let's switch to the Google Sheet to monitor the campaign in real time. I've entered a fake email address for the first contact, so the email got bounced. We can track the delivery as I've used an Amazon account. In the performance sheet, you will find a live summary of your email campaign. This is great when sending out to a large number of recipients. The emails have been sent and most of them have been delivered already. Let me switch to the inbox of one of the recipients. Here we go, the email has arrived. As expected, it contains the given name of the user. When clicking on the unsubscribe link, the status in the Google Sheet will get updated immediately. Two users have unsubscribed in the meantime. Do you remember that we've also added a block to remove these contacts from the contact group? So the bounced and unsubscribed contacts should have been removed. Yes. That's it for now, but there's much more to explore. Thanks for watching.